We're pretty good, well rested. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, we've been getting good stuff here. Around the, around the, the kitchen right. table. I didn't even realize you still had a lawn. <laughs> Shags. Ah, oh, these are the grandmothers of punk. Granted, the, the Shags aren't the Beatles, and they're not the Rolling Stones, and they're not the, they're not the huge, you know, the, these huge bands that, that we know of as legends. That wasn't music you could really dance to. But as for being who they are, they are legends. When I saw Dot Scores, it was like, I don't know, seeing like Holy Scripture or something. It was like, ah! Do you think she, like, when she wrote this, she sung all of this? I was very, very surprised to learn that there were charts. I guess I first heard the Shags when uh, the album was released on Rounder in 1980. I was working at a large record store. We uh, saw the cover and immediately slid it open and put it on in the store. And um, drove half of the customers out and the other half would run over to us and say, what is that? I must have it. Oh, check it out. Ooh, that might actually be more. Be nice. Hey, girl. We get out. Do the last one again. It was too, too much. Okay. It should, it should be more bored. All right. <laughs> You, you know, most people hate that thing. It's jarring and it's, you know, difficult to, to hear, I guess, but I think it's great, you know. And to me, it makes me happy and excited. I think there's, a, there's, some, there's something to listen for there. I remember um, me and my brother, Oss, were going somewhere on one of the back roads in Fremont, and I had a convertible at the time. And he dared me to see if I could do 100. Let's just say he never dared me again. <laughs> I love roller coasters, so what's that tell you? Dot is refreshingly normal. Having heard her music and not knowing what to expect, uh, she's just she's just someone who was forced to play rock and roll music like your dad would force you to go out for the track team, um, like your dad would force you to take piano lessons. Um, and the difference is we have it on tape. You're great, Dot. Uh, you're great. Oh, another thing that's just surprising is how into this she actually is. I just remember you had a little um, table, a little the cooler on the side of the room. Oh, up in the, the for the one time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, we got the cooler still downstairs. Oh, really? Yeah. The well, basement. And then when she came down to New York to play the show at the Bell House, it really seemed like she was having a really good time. And now that she's coming back again to do a concert next month, you know, it shows that she's, she, she's, she wants to come back and do this. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah.